PHP runner, like a bridge, silent architect, building up the future where the code once wrecked. A painter with no brush, yet it paints with ease. A symphony of data, flowing like the breeze. The canvas is bare, but it calls your name. Come and create, you're not the same. No need to fight, no tangled threads. Just weave the web where logic treads. A click of choice, now take your stand. Dynamic pages at your command. Databases dance and forms take flight. PHP Runner guides you to the light. From grids to charts, from lists to views. Turns the complex into simple cues. No more struggle with code. So rare, invisible now, but everywhere. For the dreamer, the artist, the coder too PHP runner whispers, your vision's true No more wrestling with the syntax maze Just create and let the platform blaze A click of choice, now take your stand Dynamic pages at your command Databases dance and forms take flight PHP runner guides you to the light For the novice or expert to see See, a world of apps is now set free A tool of magic, simplicity crowned Where beauty and data are found Or the novice or expert that you'll see A world of apps is now set free A tool of magic, is simplicity crowned Where beauty and data are found Take a choice, now take your stand Dynamic pages at your command Databases dance and forms get flight PHP runner guides you to the light Yeah, PHP runner guides you to the light In a world where your dreams can flight Yeah Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this world. May you have a good day up to now. I know it's very early still for the United States. And um, this is my first attempt, or actually my s second live stream attempt. I'm going to try and start live streaming again. I have a little bit more of an understanding of how it works now. My English is not the best uh, in the world, but I'm sure it's good enough so we can understand each other. So there's a lot of things I want to share, especially with the new PHP Runner version 11. Um, let me know what you think of that little intro video. There was uh, there's a lot of work went into that video. So let me think. Let me know what you think about it. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, see if I can just share my screen over here. Um, like, like most software, um, you know, you hear it can do this A, B, C, it's all so good and everything. And once you install it, like me, so many times before and with so many different types of software, I open up the first page and you don't know where you are. You ask yourself the question, okay, so what now? What's next? So I am going to try and run through version 11, see what it's all about. Um, 
how quickly can we create something that's looking good or working or whatever so first thing you will see i have the screen on project one is just the name i'm just gonna call uh, uh create a new project here i will call it quick start Uh, so by the way, um, if there's anybody uh, joining right now that can see this, I know this is very early uh, for most of the viewers, but um, just let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Can you see the the audio? Uh, the I mean the the quality, the video quality, the quality of the video, my voice, the audio. Can you hear me? Must I go high, uh, high louder, softer, those uh, type of things? That would be nice. Thank you very much. Um, if uh, everything is okay for you, just uh, type something in the chat. For me, it's the first time as well. I want to see where it's going to come up and how I will be able maybe to respond to that. I will keep an eye on the chat as well. But anyway, let's type in quick start and I'm going to go and cl click create. Now, I already have made some uh, uh, connections before, so you will see here at the Northwind database connection, this is the one that I want to do. So I'm just going to continue here and double click to this database and click connect, hopefully, and yes. As you can see, that's my tables are all coming up. And now, what is next? What's different here from... Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now I'm going to butcher your name. But uh, Mr. Mohammed, the voice is okay. So you can understand me. You can hear me. That That's perfect. Thanks for letting me know. Um, so let me continue uh, in a normal situation i just want to test the, the basics of this application there's obviously a lot more that i'm going to share and want to show people but for now i'm just going to go the normal traditional maybe uh, order table right and uh, order details select those two tables the relationship is already uh, set up correctly. I think if I double click here, I will be able to see all of that. I'm not going to make any changes to this. What I'm going to do now is to see what happens when I continue. Um, let's go next. Um, oh, now I have uh, output of my query. I'm sure if I can go to my query designer, I will be able to switch on or off the fields that I want to see in the output. I think for both these tables, orders and order details, I will leave them all on. I want to test something. Or oh, I have a. There is something in the previous version where the user can actually decide whether they whether they want to see the column or not. So let me let me try that here. Um, let me just click next see what's my next page okay so order details is obviously like underneath uh, the order so orders is the main table I'm just going to have a list I think we will discuss all of these other options right now I'm just testing the software I'm going to do I'm going to undo edit I don't want to add new I also don't want to view maybe i can leave a printer friendly page so we can do an export page but we're not going to do an import page so just the basics and the same for the other table the detail table we're not going to edit any records we're not going to add records probably not going to view and i'm going to remove all of that we're going to just have a list page here so underneath my settings here is a table there's a table in my database called quick start settings 
So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to tick allow reordering of the fields. I'm going to allow the hide and show so the user can decide which fields they want to see. So it's going to be different for the desktop and the, a mobile device like a smartphone. So I will leave them all ticked as a initial status. We can also maybe resize the columns and that's all of this information is going to be stored in this quick start settings table. Okay. I don't have to do the same for details table because I said apply to all tables that I, I did not. Let's let's just go back. I think we have to uh, I'm gonna go back here, go to the settings, yeah, apply to all tables. Alright. Now that should be fine. So let's just continue and see what's the next option. I'm not going to bother here renaming anything. Uh, it's easier for me to just leave that as well. On this page in the future, I can see us going to work a lot uh, regarding, uh, you know, email setting, SMS settings, uh, the actual location. I am from South Africa, so by the way, so I should probably change my English uh, South African or something like that uh, yes English South Africa so that that would be the correct settings for my for my server which is now obviously local it's a local server it doesn't really matter at this point but some some people uh, really uh, forgot forgets about this option and notification API oh we, we we have a lot to speak about I just I just gonna run this Next, I want to be able to sign on to this database. So I'm going to go to the database selection here. Uh, which database table will store the users? I hope I have a users table, else we will create one. I think I'm going to create quick start. There should be a quick start users. There's a quick start settings and quick start users. I'm going to use this table. Uh, uh, this table was created for me by the software. So I'm just going to leave it as is. User and I already added a user to this table. That's good enough for now. Um, and it looks like very similar and very quick to work with. The what I think I should be able to do now is because uh, order details is not really a standalone table. It's always going to be dependent on one of the records in the order table. So you don't want to, well, you do maybe, but in this case, I'm going to go to global pages and just take the order details and remove that menu option. For the orders, I'm just going to um remove the description it's just going to be a nice um i may want to change the the icon to something else okay so that is my menu item for the landing page if i am not mistaken if i am wrong i will apologize but uh, let me see anything else i must know here yeah, no what I want to do now is go back maybe just to the orders table. Um, I'm going to leave it just like this uh, for now because here's my order details. I don't know what is this deleted over here. I will have to investigate what that is. Obviously, I don't know what it is right now. Let's just continue. I want to see how quickly we can actually do this. Um, okay, the menu editor is going to be important for me because I don't want to order details. So I'm going to delete that menu item and just leave the orders because order details is always going to be. So it's going to look something like this. Let's just uh, maybe select, uh, I don't know, a different uh, theme that 
I really don't like. Um, uh, let's go default. Let's see what the default themes look like. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm very close to finish. Uh, you, there's a lot uh, I, uh, of things I have on my mind right now that I want to speak about. But right now I'm just testing how quickly can we show something. And also it's a test run regarding the live stream that's going to be uh, hopeful, hopefully, hopefully daily. Because I want people to ask questions. Those questions will go into a list. And uh, I don't know exactly yet how we're going to do that, but I want to answer as many questions you have, obviously, uh, when I'm online and uh, daily by daily. Maybe maybe I should start by once a week and then I will take it up from there. It depends on if people are going to be interested, uh, are they actually going to ask questions, things like that. Anyway, this is uh, all the events. We're not going to do any programming or event coding right now. This is asking for where to put the output folder. So I have a very special uh, place or a different place because the output takes up a lot of space and I put it on a, a hard drive that's just... Um, uh, much bigger and also slower I don't need speed there so uh, just I'm gonna go to my outputs and um, I think there's already a quick start or version 11 maybe uh, because the version 11 outputs and then Q start that is the folder I want my output file to be so all the generated files will go there in the error reporting this is very important for when we go live I'll show you guys how to work with that uh, right now I'm just gonna leave everything as default and I'm going to say I think I must say next but and then build the project let's see how it goes oh, that was fast uh, view in browser. I have obviously no idea what's going to happen here. View in browser. There it is. Now my database user. Uh, okay, I I forgot what it was. So I just copy it, copy it here from my. And then let me put my password. And let's sign in. And you will see the. Um, I'm just making full screen so it maybe may 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 look better for uh, on on your on your side. I don't know, but here's my orders. I don't. I can't click on all the details. But when I click on orders, I will be able to see my order details. When I click over here and then on the order details, you will be able to open it up like that. It looks like it was quite fast back to the master table we can change all of those wordings obviously all of that actually all i wanted to do is to see can i live stream and i will hopefully this was working there's probably uh, more things i will be able to change in the future um, but for now i think this is what i want to do um, that that is it that is in a nutshell uh, PHP Runner uh, version 11 and it is actually in a working condition. I will start making live uh, events like this and uh, announce them better and also maybe uh, uh, tackle some questions you may have. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and may you have a wonderful day.